Okay, for today's flip classroom, I wanted to introduce you to the functionality in Google's uh, Firestore, which is a, 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 a real-time database. Um, one of the neat um, pieces of functionality for Firestore is that you can get real-time notification when your data has changed. And uh, a good example of real-time notification is chat. And so we're going to build a simple chat application where we store the, the body and the pictures uh, in, <clears throat> in Firestore. So we're going to store the uh, text in the Firestore database, and we're going to store the pictures in Firestore storage, which is uh, sort of a cloud file system. So let's take a look at uh, what this looks like. So here we're going to um, sort of run our, our emulated phone. <clears throat> And the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to have to log in because you know we need some sort of uh, ident identity. Um, and I uh, have an account already set up here, fakeitexample.com, my favorite, favorite account, my favorite fake account, and uh, my favorite fake bad password. And I've already uh, populated the um, chat here. And you can see you know we have sort of a, a chat-like layout where we have the username, timestamp, and then the text of the chat, username, timestamp, uh, a picture, and the text of the chat. So that's the uh, that's the, the format. And you can send you know only one picture per per text just to keep things simple. And um, this this sort of alternate side uh, layout turned out to be a lot trickier than I thought it was going to be. So there's some code in there that you can look at and um, you know marvel at its uncleanliness. But uh, trust me, I tried to do it in sort of simpler uh, ways and, and was, un was unable. Um, so the, I guess the other uh, piece of functionality is, um, uh, so you know, th this is, uh, my, these are, um, it's, I'm over here on the right and the, the other person over here is on the, uh, the left. I'm Joe Fake and uh, there's Bo Real, so very creative names. And let's see, if I long press, if I long press on the, uh, yeah, if I long press on the um, text, it will delete the note. So you saw that note being deleted. And then if I come down in here, um, I can start writing a, uh, uh, I can start writing a note, and I can decide to take a picture, and it will uh, bring up the uh, camera. Uh, let me hit that guy right in the center. Um, uh, I'll say. Uh, It's, it's not actually a picture of my new TV. It's a picture of my new virtual TV. And then I send it. I don't auto um, um, bring the keyboard down. This is a picture of my new TV. <clears throat> OK, so yeah, down here, we just have a, a simple layout with an edit text box, a uh, take a picture, and a send. And you, know, and you can also say, uh, you know, this is a note uh, with no picture, and that uh, Picture on your TV. Oh, I got a lot of these notes. This is a note with no picture. Okay, so that is, uh, yeah. And then th this, this guy is going to let us log out. But let's let's um, let's keep the uh, the phone open while we go to this um, web portal view of what's going on in. Uh, the database, and uh, we're also going to do a little bit of chat because I don't I don't have a, another emulated phone or a real phone to do the, the sort of real time chat. So we're going to see this uh, update using the, the web interface. So this is the Firebase console, and you're going to have to go to the Firebase console to establish a uh, get an account and uh, to add a project. Um, so you know you'd add your project here, and it's the same same thing that we've seen before when we were doing authentication using Firebase. Again, Firebase is sort of the overall name. It's also the name of the old database, which is now called the real-time database. So that's a little confusing. Firestore is the new database. Firestore also has real-time capabilities. So it's a little confusing that the old database is called the real-time database, the new database is called Firestore. But that's what we've got. Firestore is the new uh, database. And then storage is the part of Firebase that lets you store files. and um, 
there's also the authentication uh, service, which we're using to, to log in our users. So uh, let's, let's go take a look at, at uh, what a particular project looks like. So you're going to come in, uh, you're going to uh, create a uh, project here. And uh, when you get into authentication, the first thing you're going to do is enable email and password authentication, because that's the one we'll use. And for your project, you know, maybe you want to use one of these other ones. Maybe you're interested in that. That's cool. But, uh, you know, we're going to try to keep things simple with uh, email and password. Now over here, we have a bunch of users. This was uh, an overzealous uh, student uh, whose account we're going to delete um, because I've got my uh, fake at example.com and real at example.com. And I'll, I'll show you what it's like when you uh, log in initially, we use this Firebase UI and it's gonna prompt you for your username. It's gonna prompt you for your first name, last name, and your uh, email address. And that, that actually creates these users. So we'll do that through the app. That's authentication. You go into database, the first time uh, you click on database, it's going to say, hey, do you want sort of the old real-time database? Do you want the new Firestore database? And you'll say, give me the new Firestore. See, it says Cloud Firestore. Um, the, the alternative to Cloud File Store is the real-time database. We're not gonna use that. Um, it will take a little while, it will create it. And then the one thing that you, you do have to have to change in order to get things to work are, are the um, access control rules. So I believe by default, it says uh, allow read write if false, which means nobody is allowed to read or write your database. This uh, statement, if uh, request.auth does not equal null, what that means is uh, the request is coming from a user who has logged in. That is a very light amount of security. Uh, it's not uh, sufficient for a production app, but it is sufficient for our demos. So uh, because we don't want to get bogged down with permissions about who can read and write what records, we're just going to say, if you've logged into the database, you can access the database. So you have to get that going. The data is uh, the uh, material that has been uploaded uh, as part of the, the flip classroom. So the these document names are assigned by Firestore and they are not in, in timestamp order. There's also a timestamp and when you uh, grab these messages, you actually want to um, sort them by timestamp so that the most recent message is on the bottom, sort of standard. Um, but here, let's go, uh, this is a note with no, a note with no picture. No, no picture, I have a picture. Um, <clears throat> let's see. It's a note with no picture. And yeah, there actually is a picture there. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's get, uh, no, I don't delete the field. Um, gosh, I don't know. Can I say, uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, uh, oh, well. Okay, so we got rid of the picture. Uh, I actually meant that to be null. You know what, I'll tell you what, let's get, so this is a note with no picture you can see here. I'm just gonna get rid of this entire note. Delete this document and then it disappeared. So, you know, um, uh, and then, yeah, this is, let's see, this is uh, this picture of my new TV and we can go in here and if we edit uh, this, um, Uh, again, the, uh, the display gets updated. Okay, and, and this uh, um, you know, works if we had uh, two users logged in, so you, you can actually get the real-time chat. Okay, let me just show you uh, a little bit of, about the login. This X logs you out. Um, I don't have a, a, an, an additional login uh, feature. Um, you know, I wanted to keep the complexity of this sort of manageable as it is. There's, there's kind of a a bit of code to support all of this, but it's code that we've seen in various other contexts. So let me actually just, uh, let, let me first log in um, as the other user, just so you can see the same, um, the same chat from the opposite user's perspective. Okay. Um, so now Joe Fake is the other user. 
So it shows up as the other user, and Bo Real is the uh, is the is you know is us. Okay. So same same chat, and then um, yeah, let me let me just show you this. If we if we log out and we want to add a new user. This this is taken care of um, by the uh, this we're using the um, Firebase UI plugin, um, which yeah it handles all this sort of um, login, give me an email, give me the first and last name, you know, zero and then six. Um, and you know, display the, the password, all the sort of standard stuff. And obviously, this doesn't really make sense. Why would a new user get to see um, uh, this chat? And you know, because this new user is not part of the chat, it sort sort of shows everybody as as sort of the other, which is standard for a group chat. Anybody in the group shows up as not you, and then there's you. Um, uh, but um, you know, yeah. And here here we go. Just just to see uh, what this looks like. Um, in terms of authentication, oh my gosh, look, there's now this new user uh, who signed in, has this user ID. So, you know, in, in a real chat application, you have some notion of contacts and, you know, you start a, a chat with a particular contact and then, you know, you and that contact have access to that chat and it's independent from your chat with some other contact. Obviously, all that functionality is great, uh, but I, I wanted to uh, simplify the um, environment that you're working in. And so this is sort of just a global chat among whoever can log in. Um, and you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it uh, keep it simple. And the parts of the, the functionality that you have to implement uh, have mostly to do with how you talk to Firestore in the underlying database. Um, just to give you a, a quick overview of the uh, application, a lot of this stuff is stuff we've seen before. We are getting the images through Glide. We have authentication through Firebase, and we had a whole flip classroom on authentication. Um, you know, the actual chat row um, is you know simply uh, an, um, your username, your user ID. Um, we didn't see those previously in the uh, Firebase in the uh, fire note and uh, notebook examples because we we were we weren't dealing with uh, sort of multiple users but here we are and so we need to have them uh, explicitly represented in this chat row and then there's uh, the potential name of an image which is uh, a reference uh, again also oops um, which is a reference to the storage which are, are the files, and there are images in here, and they're named by random UUID. So again, we've, sort of, we've, we've seen this trick before, um, and so we are using it again. We saw it in FireNote, and we're using it here in uh, FireChat, but we are now retrieving these notes using this real-time uh, updating interface, which is different from what we saw in FireNote. Um, yeah, and then there's, there's a couple of things in here that are, are maybe worth uh, looking at. Storage is how we interact with uh, Firestore storage. Uh, some of this is similar to what we did in FireNote. Some of it is uh, uh, has a little bit of a different flavor, and that's the, the point of this flip classroom. So I uh, hope you have a good time with it. Thank you.